Your part will fit you like a perfectly tailored set of clothes. <laughs> Queen of night. At the beginning, the audience will think you good and magnificent. But by the end, they will know you to be magnificently wicked. And, and Anna here will play your daughter, Pamina. Then you are the hero, Tamino, who carries the magic flute itself. And uh, for my own part, why, I'm Pup again or the simple bird catcher. <laughs> my trade is catching birds, you know. I spread my net and in they go. And all men know me as a friend throughout the land from end to end. Mozart and Schikaneda worked fast to construct a German opera that would, on one level, delight its audience, but on a deeper plane would carry secrets and truths that might enlighten that audience. Hey, you. What, me? Tell me, good fellow, who are you? Who am I? Stupid question. I'm a man like you. Who might you be? I am a prince. A what? When at the beginning of the opera, Prince Tomino loses his way whilst out hunting, his chance encounter with the peasant bird catcher Papageno launches them both on an epic quest towards self-discovery. Many thousands. Hey, maybe I could drum up some business with me birds. I think that's very good, yeah, coming. It's, it's Entertainment well, with a serious message. That's the tasty broth. Some passion, some comedy, lovely ladies, charming young fellows singing like starlings, good tunes, a cabbie can whistle, <laughs> and the enlightened message that one man is as good as another man, regardless of birth. The orchestral musicians that Mozart normally wrote for were as highly skilled and disciplined as today's players, but Schikaneda's house band were not up to quite the same standard, so he kept his scoring simple. But as ever, he turned this into a strength with arrangements that are economical, yet supremely potent. <laughs> In this aria, Tamino gradually falls in love with Pamina whilst gazing at her portrait, and the most understated of violin lines delicately, almost subliminally, anticipates, even leads his emotions. Josefa. Giesecke, tell me quickly, how is the theatre set for my Queen of the Night? The theatre, madam, has been transformed into a chamber of the night strewn with stars. We have built and painted an ingenious backcloth in which there are many holes. Cleverly, behind each one, I have arranged a lantern with a lens. Never mind your oily rag talk. Is it a firmament fit for a star-blazing queen? Is it... Mozart and I were lodge brothers, though he was this honoured genius and I was but Schikaneda's stage manager. One step up from the theatre cat. All enter the lodge as equals and progress from apprentice to master according to their merits or their own efforts. knocking one who wishes to enter enter fellow of the craft uh, 
brother Gizeka. They tell me you have something for me from Shikinator. Uh, yes. Um, words for a scene with two armed men who instruct the hero. He who treads this path of trials becomes pure through fire, water, air, and earth. Very good. He can overcome the fear of death. He will ascend from earth to heaven. Truth, mother. Mozart's time in Vienna coincided with the brief flourishing of Freemasonry in Austria. The Lodge was a forum for enlightened views and new ideas, and Mozart embraced their philosophy wholeheartedly. But in the nervous social upheaval taking place at the end of the 18th century, Freemasonry, with its symbols and secrets, began to be seen as a potential hotbed of revolutionary ideas. Mozart, politically astute as ever, perhaps wrote the magic flute to show Freemasons a new, more open way ahead, as well as bringing their ideals to a wider audience. May I ask, how is the progress on our theatre's great opera? With my dear wife away in her spa, I'm often so bored that to write an aria is a relief. So it is true. Uh, the piece concerns the secrets of the craft. The piece contains the wisdom of the craft. We must open the gates of beauty and wisdom for those who wish to cross the threshold. And with a theatre manager willing to produce German opera for a German audience. But enough. I've allowed my tongue free reign, which is so rarely possible these days. You can get drunk after every such outpouring of the heart and never do any damage to your hair. <laughs> and this is Herr Schickenader's opinion? Well, your employer may have no time for the lodge, but he well knows the trials a man must pass through to prove himself worthy. I became a Freemason, not out of curiosity or selfishness, but through a sincere regard for their exalted company. From their sanctuary, despite the secrecy, radiate glimmers of nobility, humanity, wisdom, teachings which can enlighten and enrich a man. Josepha Hoffer, the original Queen of Night, was Mozart's sister-in-law. He knew her voice and its particular qualities and knew exactly how to exploit them. How hard, how fast, and how high he could push her. Try and convince me. Convince me I can be a hero. Look at me, look at me. To me. To me, to me. To me. To me. To me. Get off the stage, please. With a voice like mine, any theatre in Vienna would have begged to have me. And I could have earned three, six, nine times what Shikaneda paid me. And let me tell you, not all parts were as good as this. my own part, I write to amuse the public. I've no wish to appear more learned than I am. I'm an actor and director, just as Mozart is a composer and musician. And above all else, we work for success at the box office. <laughs>